Computer assisted or computer navigated surgery has evolved over the past five years. Um, and it's been a great tool for both me and Dr. Johnson uh, in joint replacement surgery because it's made us more accurate. Uh, we use it uh, not only for uh, total knee replacement, but we also use the computer uh, to help us navigate placement of uh, a hip replacement, uh, whether it be the, the entire hip or for hip resurfacing where we just resurface the cartilage or, or, or remove the cartilage and put a cap on uh, the end of the hip bone uh, and replace the socket as well. What we do is uh, say it, whether it be a hip or a knee, we place pins in, in, in uh, predetermined points in the body, whether it be in the pelvis or whether it be in the femur or the thigh bone or the shin bone or the tibia. And we place computer tracking arrays over the pins. And then, we, and then we have another pin pointer where we map out the whole morphology or the shape of the bone at the knee or at the hip or at the socket, you know. And so uh, by doing that, it allows us to place, say, uh, the knee replacement or the hip replacement in the perfect position so that we can reestablish the patient's normal anatomy, you know, so, that, so their leg lengths will be the same so that the rotation, say, at the knee will be the same, or, 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 the, or the, you know, the offset at the hip joint. It allows us to, to perform the surgeries through a much smaller incision. And that's important because, because a lot of times, you know, you just can't see certain things unless you have a big incision. And so, um, but the computer allows us to, to, to not have to see things because, because it will see it for us. And so you don't have to cut as much muscle, you don't have as much bleeding, uh, the time of surgery is less, and, uh, and so the risk for infection and the risk for blood loss is a lot less. And also the pain afterwards is a lot less because the incision is so small. And so, so the reason why, we're, why we do this is because it allows us to do a much better job, especially in younger patients who really rely or, gonna, or, or, or who are going to have to rely on the longevity of their prosthesis. If you look at the baby boomers now, there are you know, so many younger patients now who are more active and who, and who end up having a painful arthritic hip and need something done at a young age. And so in those patients, you know, it's better not to put a, a full hip replacement where you remove more bone. Uh, the hip resurfacing allows you to preserve more bone. So what we have here is an x-ray of a patient who just underwent a computer uh, computer navigator or computer assisted hip resurfacing arthroplasty. And, and the difference between a hip resurfacing and a total hip replacement is that we just put a cap on the end of the ball. You know, if you look at your hip joint, your hip joint's like a ball and socket joint. And what happens is, is, is that you develop arthritis in the socket and also at the end of the ball and you get bone rubbing against bone and that's very painful. And in those patients, their life becomes very limited. They can't get around, they can't do the things they want to do, and it becomes a big problem for them. So the, what we do in, in younger patients is we, we recommend hip resurfacing orthoplasty. And that's where we resurface the socket, uh, we put a new socket in, and then we put a cap on the end of the ball right here. And, and what that does is that preserves all this bone in here. And, because with a total hip replacement, you have to go in and remove all this bone and put a stem down the uh, center of the femur here, okay? But with, a, with hip resurfacing, you don't have to do that and you preserve all that. If you have a hip resurfacing, uh, you can go back and do whatever you want to do. You can run, you can bike, you can swim. There's no limitation. What about on the hip and knee complete replacements? Is there some limitations to getting back to that? Uh, you know, uh, for, when it comes to the knee replacement and also for a full total hip replacement, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's sort of controversial as to what the right answer is. Nobody really knows what the right answer is. But based upon laboratory data, we know that, that, that the full hip replacements today, for example, are very strong. The bearing surfaces are so much better than what they used to be. And so I will let my patients, with a full hip replacement, jog, say, a mile or two, but no more. But then they can also bike and swim and do those other types of things. Just the high impact type of activities, you know, I, I like to try to limit them uh, in that regard.